And for a lot of people, the holidays are somber because they bring back some memories. And being happy can be a struggle for them. We're going to find out what happened to our next guest and how, and the way she now celebrates her grandfather's life. And this is Rosemary. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, how you doing? And who's this beautiful woman next this to you? This is my mom, Hi. Judy. Hi, Judy. Very nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. And you run a B and B up in Hamilton. Yes, I do. We're going to have to talk about that <laughs> in just a little bit. So how how are you doing? We're doing really good. Doing how, really good. How the holidays treating you so far? So far, I have three kids at home, and they are <laughs> waiting for Santa. Oh, really? What Definitely. ages? What ages? I have twins that are five, oh. and I have a little boy who's going to be two. Two, two days after Christmas. Oh my God! Uh, are the twins girls? Boy and girl. Oh, boy and girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got two boys and one girl. Yes. You know she still runs the house. Oh yes, she <laughs> does. Absolutely. Yes, I got does. three girls, and believe me, I live <laughs> in the backyard now. So I'm great. Great things are going well for you, and they're excited about Santa Claus coming to town. Yes, very excited. Awesome. Very excited. So why are you here today, Rosemary? Um, I am here because I felt the need on my heart to remind people what Christmas is really about. And my, growing up with my mom, my mom has an amazing array of storytelling abilities of different things, of symbols of Christmas. And one of the symbols of Christmas is the candy cane. And so I came up with the idea to go to the nursing homes on Christmas Eve this year and give a little bit of joy and Christ's love. Oh, and oh. Um, the symbol of the, Chris, of the candy cane is really, it's a really short little thing, but it says that <clears throat> white for the white for the purity of God's only Son, red for the blood our salvation won, striped for the pain bore on Calvary. He did it all for you and me, shaped like a staff for our shepherd who came. Jesus is his holy name. Oh. And so it's just a little reminder. And my kids and I made all these candy canes that we're going to give out at the nursing homes. So they're really excited to go down this Christmas <laughs> Eve and... Um, and to show God's love to other people who yes. might not be able to have it this That is year. so awesome. And you're starting with your youngins, too. That. Yeah. And how old are they? They're five, and I have a two-year-old. Oh, so you're starting young with them. Yes. Awesome. And it was hard Right to... there. Give me a thick. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm oh, talking about. Oh, I got to blow it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my two-year-old would be like, Mom, be like, you left me hanging. So. What was that, you? It was hard because my dad died just before Christmas mm -hmm. one year, and that's really hard, you know, to celebrate the happiness and joy. But if you remember what Christmas is really about, it, it helps to share that love with others. Absolutely. You know, I've always, you hear people say you wish it was Christmas all year long. <laughs> you know, just something about Christmas that makes people a little nicer, mm -hmm. puts more of a pep in their step. And it would be cool if it could be that way all year long. Well, you know? it definitely should be like that. Mm -hmm. And I think Charles Dickens, Charles Dickens mm -hmm. was the one who said that Christmas should be, remain in your heart right. all year I will year honor long. Christmas in my yeah. heart and try to keep it all year, the year. Yeah. But, um, Judy, you know your stuff. She's well, at Holly House, that's, that's what, what we do. <laughs> Every day is a holiday. And that's your and that's your B and B. Yes. Well, quick, let's talk about that real quick about your B and B. Out it's there. Holly House of Hamilton, uh -huh. and my thing is making warm and happy memories. And every day is a holly day at Holly House. <laughs> I love it. And that's right. a, we try and share the Christmas love all year long. Okay. So. Now, my wife's going to kill me. I asked this question, but I'm a guy I got to. Do you have TVs in the bedroom? Yes, we do. Okay, all right. <laughs> Guess where we're going. All right, awesome. So, uh, Little Birdie told me you guys like to sing. We, we do. You we want to do, do. A, we, maybe a number for us? We, we could. Want to try it? Go sure. for it. One bell ringing in the morning rush. One boy asking, please, it won't take much. Just a minute of your time and any extra dimes. Christmas is a time for giving. One small family who is out of luck, standing on the corner with their son and their truck. Can you help them out this year and show them someone cares? Christmas is a time for giving. Love, if you have a little more, Help the ones who have it rough. Is it fair to have too much when some don't have enough? It's more than just vacation or a family holiday. Christmas is a time for giving love. One cold night so many years ago. Another family looking for shelter from the snow with a stable for his birth. He came down here to earth 
to show us what it means when you care enough. Christmas is a time for giving love. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> was that an original or is that a... That is a it's song, a song that no one has ever heard of from I, what, the 80s. Oh, is that from the 80s? Okay, that <laughs> was well we done. We when she was a little girl. We, it's always been on my heart. That it's, is awesome. So. Well done. Mm -hmm. You've done that before, I can tell. I Actually, not with my mom, with my sister. Oh, that's cool. So we actually, our whole family... Shout out to the family. Hi. Um, we, um, we, like, we are like the, the Partridge family. Are you? Yeah. We're all singers. In you have the bus? You know the big we bus? Should, we should know, have. So <laughs> I'm, I'm one of four, and you get us all together. My brother's a tenor, and my sister's an alto. My younger sister's an alto, and we sound amazing. Okay. Next, well, next, next Christmas. Well, that was awesome, Rosemary and Judy. It was Thank a pleasure you. having you on here and hearing that. Oh, quickly, one more time, exactly what this is and what you're going to be doing with it. We are going to be going to the nursing homes and the hospice, and we are going to be giving out a little Christmas ornament and bookmark. That's awesome. So. It's a pleasure having you on the show Thank today. You. Thank you so much. And if we don't see you, Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, this time next year, let's do it again. Awesome. Great. I want to hear that song again. Cool. That was excellent. <laughs> okay. Well, not a weekend goes by without Hollywood drama, and it's so much fun to keep up with it. The Hollywood Weekend Crew Roundup is coming up next. That was